Thank you, Jose. And congratulations for this uh, incredible success, successful uh, Congress about food bridges. Well, um, after seeing this uh, fantastic film, uh, thank you, Lauren. And I will uh, spoke about uh, a river where the, the, the water is not uh, like we have seen in this year. Is very uh, is changing. The water appears and disappears. It's, a, it's, a, it's the river of Madrid. And I will speak about only about our city. Um, the river of Madrid um, is called Manzanares. And the good thing is that you can visit it uh, this afternoon after the finishing of the Congress. You can see uh, the things I will uh, show here on site. Well, as, as I said, uh, the river, the system, uh, Mediterranean system of rivers in the center of Spain um, is very variable. Uh, you can have a, a great amount of, of water in um, spring, uh, after the winter, and uh, you can find uh, a river almost completely dry in, in summer. Um, this is because uh, the special geography we have uh, in the center of Spain um, related with the, with the mountains and uh, with, the, with the system of, uh, of hydrological uh, pattern on, 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 the, on the geography. So the, you can see here uh, the very simple uh, scheme uh, which uh, put the water on site in, in, our, in our region. There is, a, there is a mountain here in the north, northwest, and all the rivers, all the system of the rivers are running from the north to the south to, to get the Taxus River to Lisbon. So this system, vertical system, north-south system, uh, has, uh, has made the, the region has made our culture in the center of Spain. Madrid uh, is a place not very, not very old. It was founded by the Arabs in the ninth century uh, as a fortress, as a point of uh, defense. And the relationship with the river not, was uh, always uh, very, very gentle. Um, the, the, the city was born here in this uh, red spot uh, over uh, a little hill more than 60 uh, meters uh, level from the, from the river. The river was down and the, and the city was born here. Uh, it was an Arab city, um, an Arab fortress, uh, which uh, its main mission was defend the area from Toledo, which is the, the very, very important city near Madrid. And uh, I, I, I have said that the relationship with, with, the, with the river uh, was not very, not very friendly. Um, the city uh, actually um, grows in the opposite uh, direction. This is the evolution of the, of the growing of the city. It was a fortress uh, here, and a first wall here, around the fortress, and uh, year by year, century by century, uh, the city was growing in the opposite direction, on the hill. More than five uh, defense walls were built uh, from the 9th to the 17th century. And in the 19th, in the, in the 18th century, in the, in the 19th century, sorry, in the first of the 19th century, this is a drawing made by the army of Napoleon. Uh, the city was completely closed uh, by, by a wall, uh, always looking at the other direction than the river. So the river was always a place. Uh, this, in some sense, disconnected from, from the city. And the city, around along two centuries, was completely closed by this wall, which was uh, actually a wall to, to um, fix the taxes 
uh, to the entrance of, of materials in the city. So the city was growing uh, from the middle of the 19th century to nowadays. And the river was uh, overcome in the 60s. Uh, but uh, it appears as a um, special entity without uh, control. This is an image of the 19th, the, the first uh, years of the 20th century, sorry. And you can see here uh, how was these uh, banks of the river, this riverside, completely um, uh, uncontrolled and very uh, unsafe. In the first uh, quarter of the uh, 20th century, this river was completely changed. Uh, the idea was to uh, make uh, a canal uh, 40 meters uh, wide, constant in this section, and the river changed uh, completely. Uh, it was built with uh, 10 dams in the, in, the, in the 50s. So it um, became um, really an infrastructure completely hidden, uh, completely disconnected to the, to the pedestrians, to the people, in, even to the, to the gaze of the people. In the uh, 75 uh, of the last uh, 1970, uh, 2075, the last uh, century, this rear was completely uh, hidden again by a, a highway called M30, M30, which was a ring around the center of the city. And it was a, a typical uh, um, operation related with the progress, which means the car for the, for the, for the owners of this new uh, situation. You can go from the outside to your own house by car and uh, this, uh, this idea converts the, the, the river in a space completely disconnected. You can see here, for example, this dam is scattered by the highway. And you can see here also this uh, system of uh, dams which creates a uh, not real um, appearance of the river. So this is an artificial uh, way to, to fool the, the, river, the riverbed in order to have a water surface, but in reality, the, water, the amount of water is very little. The river, of course, has two or three uh, historical bridges. This is a bridge from the 18th century and that crosses the this, this uh, line of water in order to connect the city with the other cities around, uh, in, in the surroundings. But you can see here how dramatic was the implementation of the, of the highway. Uh, making, making this bridge uh, as a, uh, not respect uh, infrastructure. Another, another, another uh, infrastructure like, like that high uh, voltage uh, towers. You can see here again a bridge dramatically, dram dramatically cutted by the by the highway. So the river uh, doesn't exist uh, at all in in the city. Not the river. This canal. This little little river. Nothing to do with the uh, rivers we have seen in the previous uh, presentation. This is another dam. The, system, the dam system was conceived uh, also as a way to cross the river in the 50s, but in the 75, these, were, these, these dams were cut uh, and this connection disappears. Well, in the beginning of this century, in 2003, uh, we have a new mayor in the city, uh, and he has very uh, great experience uh, making 
tunnels for the for the region, and he decided to uh, to bury the the highway in this stretch, which is the the stretch parallel to the river, from the north to the south, and uh, put the mobility underneath. It's like a operation of changing of level. Or, uh, so the so the highway disappears from uh, in, in the in the in the surface and creates this wound or this uh, area completely destroy it, and in that moment, nobody knows exactly what to do. Uh, the works uh, began immediately uh, in 2005, and uh, for three uh, years and a half uh, in an activity, incredible activity, um, the channels were built and the road disappears uh, on top. Um, during these years, the traffic, the, the cars were running um, as a gincana every day, so the works were made uh, with the traffic uh, running on top. It was an incredible uh, energy developed uh, to build these tunnels. You can see here a, pro a temporary bridge in order to maintain the traffic uh, during the works. You can see here this dam from the 50s suffering and two bridges that were uh, immediately demolished uh, where the works were finished. It's a battlefield, more than 3,000 people working every day every hour for three years and a half. Well, uh, where the talents were uh, beginning uh, to build, we uh, won a competition uh, to develop uh, a landscape project in order to fix this bound uh, on the city. And we won the competition with uh, a consortium of three, uh, four, uh, Offices of Architecture, uh, we, we lead, and uh, we uh, work, of course, with engineers uh, for many things, from the botanics to the civil engineering, of course, for, for the new structures. And we developed uh, two phases in our project. Uh, first, uh, five uh, landscape um, spots we, we um, solved the problem to have this wound uh, without nothing on top of the tunnels and uh, a plan for more than 150 um, actions for the next years in order to um, make the river a new element to change the whole city. I will um, explain very, very quickly uh, the whole project. The first uh, step was uh, to create a um, eight kilometers long corridor of trees, of pines, over the tunnels, using mainly natural pines picked uh, from the mountains, from the natural mountains, making the idea uh, that a forest was coming from, this, from the mountains of Madrid with the same species of trees and make this continuity along the whole, uh, the whole operation. The second was to work in front of the Royal Palace in a historical place and connecting the, the Casa de Campo, which is the main park of the city. Uh, it's a huge park, fantastic, very close, but very disconnected in the past. And we uh, linked the Casa de Campo, which is here, to the Royal Palace area, which is on the right. This is the new gate uh, to this park called La Puerta del Rey. And the bridge, we will see it uh, at the last uh, image of this uh, presentation, the bridge which was uh, in the past for only for cars. Now it's only for pedestrians and cyclists. The gardens, 
in the lower part of the park of the Royal Palace or near the Puente de Segovia, which is one of our more uh, valuable historical bridges. We deal with uh, this kind of historical bridges, two or three we had, and this is Puente de Toledo, which is an incredible bridge from the beginning of the 18th century, Baroque bridge, which connected with this city, Toledo. And we uh, here use the bridge as a point uh, of being seen, but only to to see the landscape. And we uh, implement a pattern of a new Baroque kind of gardening. The biggest part of this project was this uh, Parque Arganzuela, which is a park very linear with a great advantage, which is, uh, is very connected uh, with the city. It has many, many gates. It has a, a good connection uh, the, the, the whole day. So it's very used, it's incredibly used and very active. The idea of the park was uh, to make a reflection or a reference of this kind of river we have in the center of Spain. So um, the river appears and disappears there are lines and footprints that <clears throat> remains after the water uh, in summer. So all the park is uh, that kind of natural remembrance, that natural rem souvenir of the nature of, the, of this, these rivers in the center. The paths and the, this, the, 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 the tracks are these lines as remains of the river. The waters appears like in Spain it, uh, it, uh, it happens. Uh, there are little lakes that in summer disappear and when the snow is melt uh, appears in spring. Finally, the southern uh, part of the, of the project was to uh, refurbish uh, the former slaughterhouse and uh, converted uh, in a cultural um, center. We uh, worked uh, in the public space around the buildings and 12 archi different architects refurbished every, every building. And this, uh, this cultural center was connected with the whole park with different uh, paths and connections. Well, uh, we, in this huge project, and uh, which uh, we, have the, we had the opportunity to work from the strategic and uh, overview uh, general to uh, thought about the city, about the new uh, green network or about the new uh, mobility. Well, we can uh, think about the strategy, but we can also develop in our office uh, every detail, every element, every furniture, every bridge. We worked and we deal with uh, many systems on, on, the, on the landscape. A system of playgrounds, a uh, system of sport fields, a um, system of um, grammatical materiality, and also a system of bridges. So we must uh, work in different uh, approach. Existing bridges, existing infrastructures, we need a new bridge or um, new connections we need because Madrid is very unbalanced and the southwest of the city here sorry the southwest here can see. Well, the southwest is in the in the right, the right, down right of the of the picture. is uh, has a is economical uh, is a lower position, very very different than the, than the center. So, for us, this point in the southwest was very very important to to reconnect. 
world. So we, have, we uh, face different typologies of action. First, to uh, refurbish and recover the dams that were, were disappeared. These dams are very curious, uh, are built in the 50s of the last century, but with a um, kind of architecture which uh, is, a, um, is a reference to the historical architecture of Spain, of the of the classic Spain of the Spain of the 16th century. You can see the, the, the roof here, which is inspired directly with the materials, with the forms, uh, and related with El Escorial, which is our main, uh, main palace in the, in, the, in the glory of uh, the Spain of Philip II in the 16th century. Well, the dams were cutted, as you can see, and uh, we uh, worked in the refurbishment and the treatment to uh, put it as a new bridges uh, connected with ramps uh, in order to make it accessible for everybody. Another kind of uh, approach to the existing bridges was like this, which is, was a bridge for cars, uh, pre-stressed, in a very beautiful section, and uh, we, uh, it became, after the project, in a bridge for pedestrians and, and for cyclists and mainly for trees. So the cars were substituted by trees uh, and the, 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 the deck was cut and it was very um, carefully um, restored. Uh, this bridge was made with uh, FECOR which was uh, the engineering that was uh, collaborating with us. You can see here the, the beautiful section inclined uh, in order to make the, the, the deck uh, accessible for cars in the past. Another kind of intervention has to do uh, with the infrastructures. This is a bridge made only uh, for uh, high uh, an existing uh, infrastructure for gas. And the bridge also uh, exist, uh, was, uh, was uh, really uh, uh, was built before and we put on top a new deck and we integrated uh, in, the, in the park. At last, uh, we have new bridges not existing bridges like this. And we, uh, we, ap we approach our work in two ways. One way is for functional bridges, which uh, were um, only to cross or to connect very special points in the city. In this case, we, uh, with FECOR again, with the engineer Hugo Corres, we and his team, we built this uh, bridge in fiber of carbon fiber. And we changed the existing bridge with a pillar and with a high voltage uh, line by this new uh, very light structure. This is one of our, our approach to make new functional bridges. And on the other hand, we, uh, in two uh, special points of the city, we built uh, two um, singular, we, we call them singular bridges. In this case, we must to connect three, three streets and with uh, CESMA Ingenieros, is another company, uh, I think they have presented some projects here. Um, we built this bridge with three, three legs In, for us, it was an experience to, to refer, refer the bridge to the traditional way to bridge for, for railways in the past, in the 90s. Uh, now, the trees have, have has grown, has grown and the, the, the photograph is very different because trees are higher. But the idea was to, to build 
this kind of uh, rude or simple kind of structure using steel uh, elements like in the 90s or 19th century, sorry. The idea was to provide this geometry, this trombloil, making uh, thinner or wider the space in order to, to offer um, perspectives to the pedestrians. And uh, at the end, uh, another, the, the other, the other uh, singular bridge was uh, composed by two elements. Uh, in this case, we used uh, the concrete. Uh, you have seen uh, the first kind of bridges were uh, in carbon fiber, the second in steel, and the third in, in concrete. It was a bow, a dome, a vault, uh, with a hanging deck, uh, again with Fekor and his team that have organized this uh, fantastic seminar. And the idea was to have new, uh, two new pavilions with a very complex scaffolding. We, we were thinking the way to, to build it uh, in a precast way or in steel, and at the end we prefer to to make these uh, two uh, bridges with uh, one special sca uh, scaffolding in, in, in wood in order to create not only a bridge to cross but a space, a room, uh, a kind of chapel. A space uh, to experience the many things, not only the colors of the vault but also the microclimate uh, we uh, develop inside in summer. Um, taking advantage of this vault uh, to hang the deck, we invited, uh, invited uh, an artist, a Madrilinian artist called uh, Daniel Canogar, uh, to decorate, to put something on, on, the, on the vault. And he has a great idea, which was uh, to invite every neighbor around the area of the bridges and take a photograph of them and they were hanging on a cable in, in cables uh, and uh, he reproduced uh, the images with little uh, pieces of glass, recycled glass, four per four, per four uh, millimeters, uh, more than 120 colors and the, every neighbor was represented on, on the vault. They called the stars of the, of the, of the neighborhood. Well, the, the bridges appear as, pavi as pavilions inside the, the surroundings. And now with the trees growing, uh, are elements integrated in the city of the 60s, which appears as a background. Well, I am finishing. I think uh, in this case, in Madrid Rio, the existing bridges uh, were uh, elements that split the city with the cars. And our, our main uh, mission in, in, the, in this project was to connect, to make a new continuity. More than the landscape, more than the finest gardens or the beautiful uh, playgrounds, etc. For us, the main thing was to connect, to create a new, uh, a new green ne network, a, a new linked link between the southwest and the center. And the bridges, the bridges that this cut the city in the past now, are linking the neighborhoods. This is a this is an example how in the past the highway and the bridges of the highway uh, were very violent, even in the historical bridges, and now. Uh, with the project and the, with the, this, this huge uh, operation, uh, the city 
uh, has a new phase, a new network. Thank you.